Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Kirk and it's D-Boss. We react to this vid. Apparently, uh, CPS has been called on Cardi B. What is going on here? And also, she's going off on Offset again. They, they might actually be done this time. And people were saying, oh, she's just going on in smart police and she about to drop some. She didn't drop that. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, I, I don't know when she'll drop if ever. Um, I think she's really just going through it in her personal life. But um, yeah, apparently the kids are getting involved. This is crazy. Let's watch. Okay, you guys, so get into this. So somebody called CPS on Cardi B. So she's claiming that CPS and the cops ended up rolling up to her house because of accusations of abuse. Now she claims whoever did this is gonna pay, she's gonna sue them, and she's also suing CPS. So I want you guys to take a look. Now I'm letting you know, Cardi B has been in the hospital for the past few days. Oh. She says she's been really sick. But get your popcorn, take a listen, and let me know what you think in the comments. But that's all I have for you, and I'll talk to you. Y'all, stress will kill you, okay? It will really make you sick to the point where you need to be hospitalized. So be careful out there. Be careful who you laying up with, who you're allowing to disturb your peace so so intensely to the point to put you in, a, in the hospital. I'm not saying it's, it's only because of offset, but it just seems like this woman is going through a lot. Later. And I made a comedy out of it. Going live in the hospital bed, though, is crazy. Because I've taken too fucking far. When you mess with my fucking kids, I swear to you, I'm going to get to the bottom, bottom of it, okay? For you to do a little prank call, what is the CPS, Child Protectors? services yeah. with child protective services to come to my house not my house my gated mansion at 11 p.m while my children are sleeping because there's an anonymous call that there's been going on that that my kids have been getting abused and beaten are you dumb are you dumb this is when the pranks start getting too far when you Oh, when you think this me, and it's not funny. It's not funny. First of all, me, I'm the only colored person, and I'm the only person that is Latin, that is black people in my house. Uh, that it's in the whole neighborhood, I mean. I'm sorry. Girl, words. We're the only colored people in my neighborhood okay. completely. And for fuckers to pop up in my house with cops and child protective services because you just want to do an anonymous call involving my children? I, I promise you this. I promise you this. I promise you this. I'm going to sue child protective services for coming to my house at whatever time it comes. That, that's not how it works. They have to check on every situation, all right? So you can't <laughs> sue them for checking in. Now, if they did some wild shit, then maybe I'm missing some. Let's just listen. And I'm also going to sue the per the person that did this anonymous call. And, I'm, and as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm calling Drew Finley because I'm going to get to the bottom <sighs> of this. I'm going to hire the best private investigator in the whole country because... Y'all take joking and y'all take. I don't think they're trying to be so funny. Far. They just don't. Don't you ever like in your you. life play with my kids? And obviously don't that's you? not excusable. They have no lives and they're fucking weirdos. But I don't think they're like, ah, we're doing this is gonna be funny. I think it's just like they they hate you, so they want to hurt you in some type of way. And I would argue that making this video is giving them some type of validation. So I don't know why you would do this. And you're also encouraging other people to want to do the same and like, oh, let me figure out what other shit I could do to get under Cardi's skin and affect her actual personal life and people close to her. Because look, I'm going to get a response. She's going to go on live and talk about it. And I see this is upsetting her. I don't like her that much. I'm going to put in this effort, this miserable, evil effort to to get to her. So this doesn't really accomplish anything, even addressing this. And you went in a hospital bed of all places? Like, girl, heal up and focus on that. 
getting on live to talk to your camera and, and talk to these people. I just... Do you ever I in, in life play with my motherhood or with my ex-husband fatherhood? We don't play that. My kids Here, live great. It. But yeah, that is fucked up. My kids honestly. have never been touched. Never gotten hit. No matter how annoying they are, I never hit my kids. Every weekend, my kids go to Fly Zone or to the American Dream Mall or shopping or to eat. An exact um, my daughter likes to eat. She likes to eat Raymond, whatever. My kids are super spoiled. They go to the best school. My daughter, um, school tuition fees is $45,000. Wave is $35,000. My newborn baby, her Annie, is seven hundred dollars an hour uh, a day. Seven hundred dollars a day. That's crazy. We take very great care of our kids. I spend more Stop money. The filter moving. We take very great care of our kids. I spend more money on my kids' bill than I spend money on clothes for myself. And when I, cause oh yeah. Child Protective Services, supposedly they're going to come in the morning. And I cannot wait because my mom is going to curse them out the nasty way. The nasty way. The nasty way. You could play with me, but you can't play with that woman. My mom's going to curse you out. And I swear to God, I'm going to teach because the lesson. First, y'all was sending pizzas to my house. Now y'all sending Child Protective Services. And I promise you, I'm going to call Drew Fanning in the morning. I'm going to call a private investigator. I'm going to hire a private investigator, and I'm going to get my aunt's husband, which is a private investigator, to work on who so, is it. Because if Child Protective Service don't give me this anonymous person, I'm going to find out myself. And you want, you want to know what I'm going to do? I'm not even pressing charges on you. If you're a boy, my baby father is going to beat you fuck up. If you're a woman, me and Hennessy are going to beat the fuck up because you're playing with my mother kids. Stop playing with my mother. It's not everything is a joke. Not everything is a prank. That's why I got two securities in my house. One in the front, one in the back. With loaded up rifles. Just because I know y'all to play when y'all dress. But I promise you, I'm going to find out who the bar And you're going to be on your knees begging me for mercy for the prank that you decided to do. Don't bring that home. Oh, this is smart, all right. But all right. Even if you're gonna do it, I'm don't the say only it. person of color that lives in my motherhood. And y'all bringing, y'all bringing cops, mad cop cars, and child protective services to my gate. Are you dumb? You know how great my kids' life is. You know how well behaved my children are. You said that was annoying, girl. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah, this is Stop. fucked up. But girl, get off live and heal up. The street's gonna end it. No, I'm gonna take matters to my hand. Y'all wanna prank call? Y'all wanna do funny shit? Y'all wanna give anonymous tips and involve my kids in it? Now you're gonna you're gonna see you're gonna see the evil side of me. Cause I'm not letting that thing go. Y'all going to die. Oh, I'm going to okay. I'm going to beat the of you. I'm not calling the cops on you. As soon as I know and retract that phone call, I'm going to beat you. If you're a man, my baby father is going to beat the out of you because you thought it was okay to mess with our kids. Stop fucking playing. Yeah, you don't seem well, girl. Lay down. And you know how many people help me raise my kids? Huh? Sounds like a lot. You know how spoiled my kids are? You know how innocent my kids are? Sometimes me and, and, and my baby daddy joke around like it's like, damn, we give our kids so much that we wonder sometimes, are they going to be ready for the real world? Because we protect them so much. Question. We protect them so much. I see the difference with cultures, cousins that live in the hood and with culture. She's so innocent because she goes to school with like a whole bunch of Asians and white people. Okay, now we just school, like, she is your very hand slow. You. So that's why she's innocent because she's not going to school with anybody of color. That's how you worded that. I mean, you can uh, assume what she's trying to say, but that's just that's a terrible message, and that's just very terribly stated. Jesus Christ. Either have nerve to 
play games with my kids. All right, girl. But today, or should I say last night, Cardi B decided to tweet and delete some tweets about her soon-to-be ex-husband, Offset. So Cardi B tweeted and said, Bro, I wish the worst on this man. I never hated somebody so much in these B words. Be so thirsty to have him. Please take this man off my hands. This garbage bag is too heavy. And then someone said, He's the father of your children. Stop. She responded and said, Yeah, he is. That's why I don't wish him death. But I truly hate this a dirty a narcissist piece of s. Oh. And his family and friends never check him. That's why he always going to be a piece of ish of a person. When Cardi B started tweeting this, some people felt like Offset was the one who called CPS on her. Oh, so one Twitter user said, "Wait, I know Offset ain't called them people on her. Wait, B, I'm up and now. Wait." And Cardi B responded and said, "He a loser, but he didn't do that. It was a prank call. He had to fly out, and I couldn't be there because I'm hospitalized." Well, it seems like as the days and the weeks and the months go on, Cardi B is getting really sick and tired of Offset. So moving on to the next. The next story, something about true religion working with Meg. Good for her. Um, Yeah, it seems like this woman is going through a lot. But I think she should handle all of these matters off of the internet. Like, she's online way too much. And I'm sure it's not helping. It's not helping her health, her mental state. Her marriage, nothing. It's not helping at all. You're just putting us in your business to give opinions. And look at people reaching to my, oh, what if Offset was the person like, y'all just adding fucking fuel to the fire? It's just, it's not a good idea. When is she going to learn these things? I, I don't know. Maybe never. Um, But yeah, that is very fucked up that someone has called CPS on her and, you know, are sending them to her house. That's really, you know, cruel to involve the kids in any, any type of way. If you don't like her, cool. But, you know, speaking on her children and lying and saying she's abusing them is wild, disgusting, nasty work for sure. Um, but, yeah, I don't think the answer to that is to get on live while you are laid up in a literal hospital, in a hospital gown, to to give validation to the evil people who did this and to make threats at that so you're gonna kill them or you're gonna assault them didn't you already have a case not too long ago you had to spend all this money to fight i just don't understand <laughs> i don't get it i don't get it but maybe i never will y'all let me know what y'all think about all this stuff let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see you on the next one bye